Hi everybody, I have a lesson for you today. First, we are going to learn about the ready to learn or driver's seat position. We are going to read lots of books together this year. When it's time to share a book or have a lesson, you can show me you are paying attention by the control of your body. Look at this child on this poster. She is sitting in the ready to learn or driver's seat for learning position. When your body looks like this, you show you are ready to learn. Now I want you to try it at home. First, you sit with your legs crossed. Next, make your hands still and put them in your lap. Then you make sure your ears are listening. And last, look at the person who is speaking. So if Miss Davis is reading a book or Miss Perez, your eyes are on us. If mommy or daddy or big sister or brother are reading a book, your eyes are on them. I want you to practice this at home. This is good etiquette for when we have our uh, community meetings together or Miss, Miss uh, Davis or Miss Perez is reading a story um, on our community meeting or online. All right, next I want to teach you about equity sticks. These are our equity sticks. I have sticks with all of your names on them. There's red on one side, which means you already had a turn. And there's a green side, which means you are waiting for a turn. Sometimes I will choose a friend to answer a question by picking a stick from this cup. This is a fair way to make sure everyone gets a chance to talk. We call this equity. Equity sticks, excuse me, because equity means being fair. The rule of equity sticks is that you have to hold your answer in your mind until your name is called. Okay? Those are our equity sticks. Next, I want to talk to you about our voice levels. Your voice level is how loudly or quietly you are talking. At school, we have to use the right voice level for what we are doing. When you're a good speaker, you choose a voice level that is right for that time. Look at this poster. Level one is a whispering voice, like this, whisper. Now you practice. Level two is a talking voice, a normal speaking voice. Now you try. Level three is a sharing voice for when it's your turn to share with the whole class. Like this. Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Davis. That's a sharing voice. And lastly, level four is a shouting voice that's only used for outside. Today, I'm going to read this book to you while we practice these new skills. The book is called Goldie Clucks and the Three Bears. As I'm reading, I'll be looking to see who is sitting in the ready to learn position. So I can't see you at home, but I'm going to hope maybe mommy or daddy can see if you're ready. And I'm going to trust that you're doing what we talked about. Okay? All right. I want you to listen to Miss Davis's voice level and see if I'm using the right voice level for what I'm doing. The title of the book is Goldie Clucks and the Three Bears. Here's the characters, Goldie Clucks, Father Bear, Mother Bear, and Baby Bear. And you might be thinking, oh, this sounds like a book that I have read before. But it, it's got a little twist on it, so it has a little bit uh, of different things inside the book, okay? Level three voices are great for when you're speaking in a group of people. So I'm gonna use a level three sharing voice as I read to you today. Let's all practice using a sharing voice. I want you to say, this is just right for talking to the whole class. Now your turn. Very good. Once upon a time, three bears lived in a beautiful cottage in the woods. One day, Mother Bear made porridge for breakfast. While they waited for their porridge to cool down, the three bears went outside to play.
So if we were all together or on a live Zoom together, I would be pulling sticks for friend for equity sticks for friends to answer the questions. Okay? So we're gonna we're gonna practice that in our community meeting. They had not been gone long when a small chick called Goldie Clucks arrived and looked through the window. Goldie Clucks was hungry. When she saw the porridge, she went outside to eat some. Now let's practice a level one whisper voice. Level one is perfect for when you want to tell a secret to a friend. Pretend you're Goldie Clucks and whisper to yourself, that porridge looks good. Now let's try it together. That porridge looks good. That's a whisper voice. The biggest bowl of porridge was too hot. The middle sized bowl of porridge was too cold, but the smallest bowl of porridge was just right. So Goldie Clucks gobbled it all up. Then Goldie Clucks saw the three bears chairs. She tried sitting on the biggest chair, but it was too bouncy. She tried sitting on the middle-sized chair, but it was too saggy. Finally, Goldie Clucks jumped into the smallest chair. It was just right. But as she landed, there was a loud crack. Goldie Clucks had broken it. Uh-oh, what happened to the smallest chair? right if you said it if, it if you said it broke you are correct next goldie clucks thought, saw the three bears bed she tried the biggest bed but it was too hard then she tried the middle sized bed but it was too messy finally goldie clucks tried the smallest bed it was just right she climbed in and went to sleep Soon the three bears came home ready for their breakfast, but somebody had been eating their porridge. My porridge is all gone, wailed baby bear. The level two talking voice is best for talking with one person or a small group. Let's practice using a talking voice. Imagine you are a baby bear playing in the forest and say to your parents, I'd like to go home now. Now your turn, say, I'd like to go home now. Next, the bears noticed someone had been sitting on their chairs. What's this feather doing here, growled Father Bear. Suddenly, Baby Bear burst into tears. Someone has sat on my chair and broken it, he cried. Poor Baby Bear. Oh no, these three bears look angry. Do you think they are talking loudly? or softly. Yikes, from the look on their faces, I bet they're talking loudly. That's right. Finally, the bears saw their beds. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, shouted Baby Bear. Baby Bear is shouting on this page. He is using a level four shouting voice. You can use a level four shouting voice when you are outside. It's too loud to use inside the house or inside the classroom. And she's still in it. At this, Goldie Clucks woke up with a squawk. When she saw the three bears, she flapped out of the window as fast as her little wings could carry her. And from that day on, the three bears always remembered to lock their doors and windows whenever they went out to play. Well done, boys and girls. Great job today. When we read this, when we read books together, I hope all of my friends will sit in the ready to learn position or driver's seat for learning, wait their turn to talk, and use the right voice level. Hope you guys enjoyed this story and this lesson about our read aloud behaviors. Hope you have a great day. Bye.